Hello. Good afternoon, students. Welcome back to the My Professor Live School. To all returning students, it's good to see you again. I can see some of the returning students. Hello. Hi to all of you. Thank you for logging in with your name. Okay. So as you all know, this master class is specially sponsored by my professor. So thank you, my professor, for this wonderful gesture. Yes, hello, Lulu. It's wonderful, isn't it? Because we are all able to connect globally under one platform. So as you all know, while waiting for others, let's have some chat. So as you all know, again, as the current situation of this coronavirus is still not settled yet. So please students, as usual, do not forget to practice all the rules in order to maintain the best safety for all. Okay, make sure you are still practicing social distancing and be sure to wash your hands frequently. Use your hand sanitizers, okay? These rules are extremely important in order to maintain safety of all during this critical period. Okay. <laughs> all right. So let's see how many of you are here. Let me just get a check on here. To all of you who are here, please raise your hand, students. I think I can. Okay, now, before we get started, hi, thank you for raising your hand. So before we get started, let me just remind all of you again to please log in with your name, all right? If it's not your device, please rename your names. Do not log in with your device name as it's going to be convenient for me to call you, okay? So that I will know what's your name, all right? And not forgetting to all of you who are celebrating Eid, happy Eid to everyone. I hope you all are having a wonderful time today. Although it's not going to be as merry as uh, previous years, I'm assuming due to the lockdown. But still, we should be thankful we are still here to celebrate the festival, right? All right. So let's just see how many of you are here. Okay, I can see quite a number of you already here. So let's get started. So as we all know, hello to, as we all know, today is the English masterclass, right? So today we will be learning about nouns. Let me just share my screen, all right? So nouns, as we all know, what is a noun? Okay, hold on. I think my camera went. Off. Can you all see me now? Okay, now a noun. What is a noun? Do we have today's topic is going to be about nouns? Okay, so students, yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you for letting to for participating. Yes, very good, Dia, and uh, I. Forgot your name. Okay, so nouns, all right. As we all know, noun is a name of something. There are a few kinds of noun, yeah, place and all. So we will be looking into each of the nouns. There are so many kinds of nouns like common nouns, proper nouns, countable nouns, uncountable nouns, concrete nouns, abstract nouns, compound nouns, and collective nouns. We will be looking into each of it in detail. All right, students? So let's look at a common noun. This is the most common one, as many of you know. So what is a common noun? Allow me to erase this from the whiteboard. Okay, so our common noun. So my dear students, what is a common noun? A common noun is a name, name of people, wait, hold on. Wait, can you see my pen? Okay, so a common noun is where you used to name people, places, or things, okay? Sorry, I think I, sorry, I hope you can see me now. So used, 
to name people, okay? People, places, or things. No. Things, we are referring to name of people, places, and things, like the word common generally, okay? In general, okay? Not specific. I will tell you the difference later, okay? So, you are not being specific to those of you who just entered. Hello, welcome. And, uh, for example, that. Okay, London is something very... It's, something specific that one is different okay common now is generally for example when i'm talking about someone i'm telling you that girl a girl i'm telling you now a girl is referring to a girl there are many girls here right i'm a girl you are a girl some of you there or a boy okay so i'm being very general when i say a girl i can be referring to any girl i'm not being specific I'm not being specific as in maybe, let me see, take a girl's name here. Now, like, is Dia, I assume Dia is a girl. Like Dia, I'm being specific, right? But when I say a girl, I'm being very general, okay? So meaning I'm being very general, that is common uh, nouns, like a dog. A mountain, we climbed or hiked up a mountain. I didn't be specific as in what mountain was I hiking. I didn't name the mountain as in I hiked up Mount Everest. When there is a name to the mountain, meaning I'm being very specific to it, that is what we call the proper nouns, okay? So common nouns is something very general. For example, you can just be referring to a city, to a particular animal, for example, okay? A particular fruit. Like I say, I like to eat fruits. I'm referring very generally as in fruits. But when I say I love to eat strawberries, that is something specific, right? Okay, no problem if you forgot, we are going to be learning it today, all right? So, let's look further into it. Now, that are common nouns. Let me, let's just go through. Hi there. Whoa, Marwa, welcome back. Today, you put your name at the back there. Very good. Okay, so, so those of you who just joined, hi. I was looking out for you earlier to Marwa. Welcome back, Marwa. Okay. So that was common nouns. Now let's take a look at proper nouns. So what are proper nouns? Proper nouns are where, that's not we were referring to, yes, Marwa, to all those who are celebrating happy Eid, okay? Okay, come, let's come back here. We will have a chat again before we end, okay, regarding this eat. Now, students, again, let's focus, okay, come back here. Okay, so proper nouns is where I am being very specific. Not just any goal and all. Specific as to a person, to a certain item, to a certain city, to a certain thing, okay? Now, for example, a uh, country. Country is very specific, right? I'm not naming any, uh, sorry, something very general, right? So when I say a country, name me a country, like the UK, for example, or yeah, okay, Nepal. Are you from Nepal? Okay, let's say Nepal, since Eden said Nepal. Yeah, Nepal, England. And all where you're being very specific, okay? And then names. Names as in Marwa, as in Ria or Dia. I'm so sorry. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, good to know that. Oh, Susan, when I say, I'm referring specifically to Susan. I'm not referring to any girl. Susan is a girl, but I'm being very specific that Susan, please come here. Or a dog, for example. I'm not referring to any dog, but I'm very, being very specific as in this dog, like Snoopy, for example. Okay, and that's why I mentioned the mountain. So when I say mountain, I'm 
under proper nouns, I'm being, I need to mention the name of the mountain and it always starts with capital letters. When it comes to common nouns, we do not need to start with capital letter, okay? Because like example, yeah. So these are names of something like Snoopy, Nepal, England, Dia, Marwa, the M, the D is all under capital, right? We don't simply, uh, we do not start with a small letter. But when it comes to common nouns, that's not, we do start with a small letter, okay? So, let's do some examples. Any questions so far, my students? Okay. Now, let me open my questions. So, example, uh, let's do some questions to see some example, okay? Now, I'm going to write here, before I ask you, for example, Jude is the brother of Mike. Now, I'm going to underline the noun. And you're going to tell me, is this a common noun or is this a proper noun? Hit me up on the chat, students. Come on, well done, Eden. What about others? Come on, come on, everyone. Lily, where, where is Lulu today? I heard Lulu just now. Yeah, very good. Lulu, are you here? Lujin. Okay, very good. Oh, that is Lulu Lujin Hamid. Is that you? Okay, okay. <laughs> All right, okay. <laughs> Hi, Lulu. Good to see you. Okay, let's try another one, okay? Now, very good. That is a common noun. Can you see? I'm being very, uh, very general, right, brother? Now, let's try another one. His book, for example, I'm speaking, I'm saying his book is new now students what about this one i'm going to underline it and you're going to hit me up on the chat and tell me is that a common or is that a proper noun come well done i can see some of you yes to those of you who are raising hands very good well done well done well done wow very good okay next example let's try more okay now um what if this my birthday is in okay now i'm going to underline for you can you tell me the word underlined is it a common noun or is it a proper noun Sama, sama, sama. Hit me up. Wow, your birthday is in September. Same as me. <laughs> okay, wow, that's good to see. Many of you are in September. Okay, now, so this, okay, all right, okay, now. Student, September, is it a common or a proper noun? I still got some confusion from some of you. Okay, okay. It's a proper noun, student. So come back. Come listen. Okay, we will chat about birthdays later. September. If I say my birthday, if I just say a month, this is the my birthday month, for example, I am just referring generally to any month, right? But when I say September, or if I say August, so if I say December or January, whichever one, I am being very specific as to that month. So this is a proper noun. Okay, students? Now let's try a new one. One more, uh, two more before we move on because I got some of you who got some confusion. <laughs> All right, come. So example. Having a test. So, dear students, on Monday, she will be having a test. Let me underline and you're going to hit me up on the chat box. Come on, tell me. Is this a common noun or is this a proper noun? Well done, well done. Come on, come on, everyone. 
Give me a more, more answers, please. Can I get more answers? Very good. Okay, well done. So it's really simple, okay? Common noun is very general. Proper noun is very specific. So easy, right? Now let's move on. Let me open my another notes. Okay. Now, very good to all of you. Well done. Okay, and thank you for the participation. Very good. Yes, my dear Marva, well done. <laughs> okay, come. Okay, so we did common nouns, we did proper nouns. Now let's do to countable nouns, yeah. Okay, now. Countable nouns. Well, to those of you who have never heard that, don't worry, we will be looking through into this today. So what are countable nouns? These countable nouns are nouns that can be counted, right? You should use, yes, nouns that you can count. For example, like car, your desk that you're sitting on or the desk you sit on the, in, your school, your table, yeah, <laughs> bus, house, the house you're in, your bike, books, umbrella, some of what else I can think of. These are all something that I can count, right? Like I can count, like I maybe I have one book, two books, three books. Yes, it's happy. It's good to know that you understand now. Now, and your bike, you know, you ride your bicycle. You can count how many bikes do you have at home? How many bicycles do you have at home? It's something that you can count. The chair the teacher is sitting on, I can count how many chairs they are in my office, right? So the chair, look around you. Look around you and tell me something that is accountable now in your home that you're sitting. Tell me. Tell me some example of when you look around. Yeah, chairs, very good, bed. Wow, well done. Phone, water bottle. You guys are awesome. Chairs, very good. This is really good. Yeah, computer printer chair cups, the cups that you're drinking in, right? Okay, TVs, exactly. PS4. <laughs> okay, some of you like games. Okay, now that's cool. So let's look now before we do some activity. Let's look. Because I'm going to do like two same groups to compare. Well, lipstick. Wow. Whose lipstick are you referring to? Your mom's? Okay. <laughs> Come. Now, we say countable. Yes, yeah, sisters. You can count your sister. My sister has a lot of makeup. <laughs> okay, so let's count. You guys are so cute. Now, uncountable now. So countable are things that you can count, as in the big things, physical things. When it comes to uncountable nouns, these are nouns that can't be counted. Usually, they cannot be counted, okay? Cannot be counted, all right? Yeah, so usually we are referring to like, uh, usually it refers to substances, like substances. Hi, Ruby. Did you just join? Substances, liquids. Liquids, some more. Uh, yeah, grass. Okay. Abstract ideas and abstract ideas. What is that? Please, abstract. We will look into abstract nouns. Now, let me just tell you generally an example, okay? So, substances is like sugar, exactly. Sugar, you can't count. Air, very good. Yes, the rain. Now, look outside your window if you're sitting near a window. Well done. Sand, yes, hydrogen. Wow, we have some scientists here today. <laughs> the blood, you cut your finger. While you were cutting an apple, <laughs> the blood that came out, that's not something you can count. Then, mommy, I have one blood here, two blood here, three blood here. You can't count, right? It's uncountable. Yes, hair. 
Hair is not countable. Very good. Water. You can't count how much water you drank. You can count as in the amount, but you can't count as in one water, two water, juice. Some more what? Food that you eat, like uh, cheese maybe. Fanta, Coke, wow. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, I can see a lot of you are typing in your yummy, delicious uh, juices. All right, so these all are Okay, now let me refer in general first to you. What are abstract ideas? Who can tell me what are abstract ideas? Abstract ideas are referring to like your emotions maybe. Yeah, exactly. Now making me thirsty. So it's no longer fasting, right? It's eat already today. You can drink your juices. Okay, like happiness. Can I say that oh, I have so much of happiness today? <laughs> oh, you guys are so sweet. Now, like example, if I say, I have so much of happiness today because I have all of you joining me in class today. I'm so happy. Can I say I'm one, I have one happiness, I have two happiness, I have three happiness? No, I can just say I have so much of happiness. I'm so happy, right? Okay, oh, it's all because of you. Thank you for making me so happy. <laughs> Okay, now let's do some examples. Okay, I have, yeah. Yes, if you were fasting, you can't drink since it's not yet the time, but today it's already eat, so you can go grab your Fanta and drink it. Wow, that's so sweet. I love y'all too. Oh, that's so sweet. I love all of you. I was looking forward to the class. I'm so happy to see all of you here back. Okay, now, so what were we looking? <laughs> countable and uncountable. You guys are the sweetest students ever, okay? So, countable is what we can count. Uncountable is what we can't count, right? <laughs> okay, I'm going to write a sentence here. Then we are going to pick, okay? For example, the... Furniture oops, has been delivered from the store. Okay, I'm going to underline for you. Now, you can see we said the furniture has been delivered from the store. Now, if we look at the word, now, the noun here, the furniture, by just looking at that, can I say is it countable or is it uncountable here? I can see someone answered, right? Be careful, see, did I mention any amount or did I say generally? The furniture here, is it countable or uncountable? Are you sure it's countable, students? An, okay, yeah. Because I didn't refer to an amount here, right? I just said that the furniture has been delivered from the store. Just by looking at the sentence, I can't give a definite thing. Now I'll show you another comparison. Let's look with this sentence. Let's compare it with another. To those of you who are confused, Relax, okay? I'm going to show you another comparison here. Now let me do, okay. Can I just uh, have more space? So he, did someone say something I didn't see? Tricked in horror at the sight of the humongous, humongous spiders. Oh, sorry. Two humongous. Who can hear me? Can you all hear me? Are you asking me? <clears throat> now, tell me. <clears throat> I'm going to. Sorry. Yay. Thank you. You hear me? That's awesome. 
Now, look at this sentence and tell me here, thank you, Marwa, that uh, by looking at this, he shrieked in horror at the sight of the two humongous spiders. We are counting spiders. Spiders, is it countable or uncountable here? Yay, well done. I can see right answers. More, more. Come on, all of you, hit me up. Hello, Hillary. Hi. You just joined, I think. Good to have you here. Hi, hi, Hillary. Okay, so the spider here, glad that you joined. Is it countable? Very good, it's countable. Why is it countable? Because it's written there. I'm good, thank you. Okay, because it's written there, two humongous spider. I can count one spider, two spider. So he shrank in horror at the sight of the two humongous, big, huge spiders. Will you do the same if you see spiders, huge spiders? Will you all shriek too? Or will you say, hello, spider? I will definitely scream. What about you all? Tell me. Let me know while I'm writing the next sentence. I will fly to Antarctica. <laughs> wow. This Rakan to everyone. Hi, Rakan. Can you please uh, connect with your name, please, so that I can uh, call you with your name? Hi, I saw Rakan. You were here yesterday as well. Can you connect with your name, please? All of you has joined using your name. Well done. So while I'm writing, oh my God, are you serious? I almost screamed. I'm scared of spiders, by the way. <laughs> I almost turned to look back to be sure. So you guys are really funny. Okay, now let's see. <laughs> you guys are really the best. So. Again, to those of you who has not uh, logged in with your name, please rename yourself. Hi, can you rename yourself, Rakan? Is this your name or is this your device, please? Yeah, exactly. I know, right? I'm seriously scared of spiders. Especially humongous one. I hope there's none behind me. If y'all can see any in the camera, please hit me up on the chat. I will run for my life. <laughs> okay. Her hair fell in curls over her shoulder. Don't run. No, I won't. I will not run because I have you all here. It's on my head. I used to... <laughs> <laughs> okay i hope there's none just to be safe i'm checking all right you guys are really so funny so come her hair fell in curls over her shoulders when we are looking at the hair here is it countable or uncountable uncountable very good i can see so many right answers here well done to all of you yes it is uncountable can you count the hair that's on your head if you can, please tell me how many hairs do you have now? If any of you can count me. It's too many. Yeah, it's too, wow, exactly. It's just too many. All right. <laughs> now let's try more. Okay. Hillary, raise the hand. I'm going to lower your hand, okay? All right. Come, let's do a new one. You guys are so awesome. Let's try another one. Now, Ah, uh, okay, let me see. The weather, there can be a bit unpredictable. Yeah, when I am seeing students, the weather, when we are looking at the weather, the weather here, is it countable? You guys are awesome. Before I can ask, you're letting me know the answer. Come on, everyone. Tell me, tell me, tell me. Yes, uncountable. Can you count if you can count the weather? Please let me know. I need you to count the weather for me then. On, on, okay. Now, 
All right. Okay. That's really awesome. I think you guys kind of get it. I can't count whether <laughs> that's crazy. Okay. Now, <clears throat> okay. Let me try one more little a bit confusing kind one. This one that I wrote here. Okay. So the smell. Uh, you will try to count. Help me to count, please. If you can count the weather, you'll be the best weather forecaster. We can't count the weather. <laughs> Hold on there, garbage. Okay. Now, I'm going to underline the noun that I'm referring to, okay? So the smell from the uncollected garbage dulled our appetite. Oh gosh, before this, can you imagine if there's some uncollected garbage near your house? How will it smell? Horrible, right? So garbage, ew, exactly. So the garbage as seen here, is it countable or uncountable, students? Tell me. Yeah, uncountable. I get so many. Okay, that's a good way on. You. <laughs> yeah, we don't want, right? It makes life so difficult, right? So now, this is uncountable. Okay, very good to all of you. Well done. Okay, now. Let's move on. So this one, what were we looking at? Countable, uncountable. Now students, look around and tell me what is an uncountable noun that you can see from around you, your room. Look around. Look around and tell me. Oh, from your mommy's kitchen. What, what is an light? What else? Water. Okay. Okay. Very good. Like that's not what we did, right? Salt, sugar, all that is not countable, all right? Yeah, very good. Uh, buildings, you can count. One, two, three, four, five, right? Okay, now let's go to concrete nouns. Slow, sugar. <laughs> concrete, hold on. Con. Concrete. Now, what are concrete nouns, my dear students? What are concrete nouns? Has any of you heard of this before? Like some of you does not say you didn't hear. <laughs> no. Okay. Come. Concrete nouns are things. Yeah. Live on concrete. No, they don't live on concrete. No, no, no. <laughs> well, <laughs> that's so cute. So. Concrete nouns are nouns that exist <laughs> physically. That exist physically and with at least one of your senses that can be detected, okay? With at least one of your senses can detect. Detect, for example, you can see. Like if you tell me something like, for example, a dog. Yes, yeah, smell. Very good. Yes, swimming pool. You can see. And when you go in the swimming pool, you can feel it, right? Your senses. And you can uh, see, feel, taste, smell. Like if I tell you an apple, you can see an apple. Yeah, here also. Very good. So if I tell you an apple, when you look at an apple, you can bite it and eat it and you can taste the apple. Yeah, pear if you like. Okay? Claw. What is a claw? Now, or a dog. A dog, students. How many of you have puppies? So when you see the dog, you can see and you can touch your dog. A hamburger, for example. A frog. Yes, I have a puppy too. Now, when I say a frog, 
How is that a concrete noun? Frog. Wow, that's very pretty. Yeah. So frog, I can see the frog. I can also hear the frog, right? A flower. How is a flower a concrete noun, students? Flowers, I can see the flower and I can oh, smell. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Very good. So these are concrete nouns, okay, that you can physically see and it's there and you can detect with at least one of your senses. Okay. Now, what about abstract nouns? Yeah, some of you have chickens. <laughs> I'm joking. Now, abstract nouns. <laughs> Now, this one is something that I said a little bit uh, just now. When we say abstract nouns, right, this has no physical existence. So we have no physical existence. Like that's not, I said that, yeah, existence. That's why I said uh, the concrete now is something that I can see. I will be explaining to you it. And this one has no physical existence. Like for example, I will be giving you examples. So most of the time, this refers to concepts, emotions maybe, okay? Your emotions, your concepts. What else? Feelings. Okay, now examples. Love. You have a puppy and when you see the puppy, what do you feel? So much of love. You just want to carry the puppy and hug your puppy, right? Yes. Oh, angry. Yes, exactly. <laughs> so that is love. I feel love, but I can't see love. When you carry a puppy and hug your puppy and kiss the puppy, can you see the love coming out there? As in the cartoons, the love, love, love? You can't see, right? Yeah, so it's something that is there but no physical existence or concepts. Concepts as in you have an exams. Yeah, like the heart's there. That's so much of love. Thank you. Now, concepts are like I tell you, like, hey, good luck. Uh, your exam is tomorrow. Good luck on your paper, students. So I say luck, the luck there. Can you see the luck when you're doing the exam? or something you can't see, right? And your feelings, yeah, I wrote uh, feelings and emotions. Now feelings are love, emotions like uh, fear. You feel scared, a snake is coming there. Yeah, good luck with coronavirus. <laughs> so if you happen, <clears throat> you're walking in the jungle and you see a snake, what do you feel? <gasps> fear, do you feel happy? Hi, little snakey. Yeah, you feel scared, you feel worried, you feel horrified, you feel fear, right? So that are all something that is there, you feel, but you can't see it. So there's no physical existence to it. <clears throat> now, don't be scared. We don't have snakes here, students. <laughs> horrified, petrified. <laughs> okay, now, when it comes to feelings, Okay, so I'm going to write here when it comes to abstract. Huh? Abstract, I can say feelings, okay? All this I can't see. Feelings, uh, emotions. Okay, yeah. Just, whoops. In feelings, emotions, I'm just looking at my notes. Uh, qualities that a person have, yeah. Qualities. Some more what? Concepts. Movements. Okay, so feelings like we said. <laughs> All right, don't worry, there's no snake here, I can guarantee. If there's a snake, my professor will deal with it, okay? Don't kill yourself. I saw some people saying, oh my gosh, relax, relax. Okay, now feelings. When I say feelings, I'm referring to <coughs> like anxiety maybe. 
anxiety, uh, fear, like we said just now, the snake one, and emotions as in love, some of uh, anger, hate. I just hate eating this. I hate the taste. Like that. Yeah. Love, anger, happiness. Yeah. I'm giving you all examples. Okay. I'm not saying to you all because I love you all. Like I love you all. It's such a strong emotion, right? Vegetables. I get that a lot. Many of my students hate vegetables. Now, yeah, I like vegetables too. Now, all right. Like today, you have so much of happiness. You hate milk. I love milk. Because today is Eid. So, so those of you who are celebrating, what are y'all doing? Wearing new clothes and all, right? So you're so happy, okay? And when we say to qualities, we are referring to a quality of a person. Barbecue! I want to come. Wait. I will have a chat with you all five minutes before we end. Yes. Okay. Now, when you say qualities, Qualities. Qualities are like honesty. Uh, courage. Patience. You know, some people are just, <laughs> some people are just so impatient. That are all qualities of a person, you know? Like honesty. We say it's always the best quality. You must always be honest, right? Courage, have courage. Be patient. Like you're asking your mommy, mommy, give me this, give me this. And mommy said, be patient. Yes, okay? So all these are qualities of a person. And when we say concepts, like I said, concepts we can refer to like that's not luck, okay? Uh, comfort. And all these kind of a things. Moments, like, moments I can think of, like birthday, for example. Your birthday. How do you feel when it's your birthday? Your childhood. Yeah, Halloween. Halloween. Now, these are moments. How did you feel? How did you celebrate your last Halloween, for example? Yeah, Christmas. Your birthday where you get to cut your cake and blow off your candles, right? Christmas, exactly. Yeah, happy for presents. Whenever there are these kinds of uh, moments. Okay, so to those of you who are confused about the concepts, concepts are like, my dear, luck, comfort, uh, what's some I can think? Like uh, clarity, democracy, all these are concepts, okay? Now, so those of you are saying savage, Marwa. What did Marwa do? What did she do? Okay, now let's take a look at concrete one. Don't worry, we will do examples. Now, concrete. <clears throat> Wait. Okay, all right. No worries, I'm just asking. Now, what did we do? Uh, that was abstract and we did concrete, right? Okay, very good. So concrete, like I said, physically, like when we talk about people, when we talk about a place, when we talk about objects. Okay. People. Yeah, people. When we talk about people, you can see your mother, your father, your uncle, your auntie, your brothers, your sisters, right? All these. Yeah, dog. Okay, Lily, I assume you love your dog very much. Same like me. Give me five. Okay, cat. You said cat. <laughs> Wait, who was the one with the dog, with the puppy? Was it Lily? Yeah, I love my dog too. We are same. <laughs> so people, when we are referring like to your mother, okay, your father, and so on, all right? And when we say to a place, you guys are so sweet. I wish I can come there and see you. Okay, now place after the coronavirus, okay? Now place when we talk about I will, I will. Now I, we can't because, yeah, of the coronavirus. So now we will remain in the screen, okay? <laughs> now, like when I talk about place, I talk about maybe London, okay? And some of you uh, mentioned Nepal, that's now. Some of you are from Nepal, I think. Or your garden, that's also a place. The garden in your house. It's also a place, right? Objects can be anything as in the pen, 
uh, books, water bottle, table. Okay, some of you are from Holland. That's good to know. So can you see that we are all Netherlands? We are all from, so many of you are from different, different parts. But we can connect together here. All right, come. Oh, from India, we have hello to all of you. That's good to know. Okay, come. So, yeah, we have from USA as well. That's awesome. Fantastic. Good to know that. All right. So students, now let's continue. Compound nouns. Very good to know all that. Let me just change my pen. Now, compound nouns. Okay. Compound nouns. <laughs> this is where two or more words create a noun. Okay. So two or More words create a noun. Yes, why are some of you so sad? Cheer up, we will do it if you're confused what is a compound noun. All right, wait, we will have a chat from where we are from later. Okay, now come back to the nouns. Two more and then we will have a chat, I promise you. Okay, now come, let's do this. Okay, yes, two six. Now, two or more words that create a noun, okay? Now, one very important thing, they can be written as uh, together or separately, okay? Written together as one word, as one word or separately. Now, written together as one word, for example, rainfall. Now, can you see rain plus fall, but we joined it to become rainfall, right? Now, another word. Uh, two words written separately, like credit cards. When you go shopping. Yeah, watermark. Yes, very good. Now, waterfall. Very good. Yes, ringtone. <laughs> Yeah, and credit card, when you go shopping, mommy, swipe, swipe, swipe. Yeah, shopping mall is far. It's not one. Okay, very good to all of you. Blue water. Okay, compound words. Yes, it's a noun. So toothbrush is also one of it. When you wake up in the morning, you brush your teeth using what? Toothbrush, right? Ice cream, wow, yes. Okay, very good. Bus stop, yes. Bus stop is another one. Oh, some can be written with hyphens, okay? Like, for example, Jack in the box. These are hyphens. It's all one word, although they are four. Join, 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 join. But it's one word, right? Jack in the box. All right. So very good to all of you who are participating. We will do. Now, let's do. So these are compound words where two or more words create a noun. You can be written separately, together, or with a hyphen. Okay? Now, yes. Thank you, Hillary, for the participation. Well done. Hillary is... I think you were not here yesterday, right? So it's really good to see some new students here. Well done to all of you. So that was compound noun. Now let's have a look at collective nouns. What are collective nouns? Whoops, let me just write properly so that you can understand. Yeah, some of you already, I can see good answers. Okay, collective nouns. So collective nouns are like... <laughs> no, I'm not collecting stuff. Now, okay. <laughs> you guys are so cute that I just don't know what to say. You are not collecting any stars. Remain seated and look at the screen. Now, collective nouns are a set... <laughs> or group of people, yeah, people, 
like I can see that's why you, you all told me a uh, uh, herd and all very good animals okay or things now often followed by a plural like example now you give to mommy it's mother's on mother's day it's okay welcome hi it's good to see you yeah i was looking out for you good to see you it's okay you're late don't worry we are happy that you're here together okay so set of group of people animals or things for example let me tell you uh you know mommy like what yeah hello to all you of you who just joined we are so happy that you came and is joining so all right <clears throat> Example flowers, we say what? We say bunch of flowers. Like you give mommy. It's mommy's birthday and what do you want to give? Bunch of flowers. It's okay, glad that you are up now. Never mind. Okay, so a bunch of flowers, okay? Group of what? That you can up in the sky. A group of? Birds, so group of birds, for example, a team, yeah, herd of elephants, very good, well done. Okay, now let's take a look at some examples now. You guys are awesome, very, very good. Okay, now take, let's take a look. So that's why we did compound and collective. So let's take a look at more and you're going to tell me. Oh, thank you. All right. <laughs> but let's, let's finish with this then we will have a chat don't go off okay stay on class now we then compound nouns that's all right and collective okay you are learning nouns to those of you who just joined okay it was supposed to be last uh, sunday's class so all right so let's take a look hi i can see so many new students hello hi welcome so compound nouns now I'm going to write, we did compound and uh, collective. I'm going to write the sentence. Okay, let me write the sentence first. Now, I am going to catch the bus at the bus stop. Now, my dear students, can you tell me this sentence consists of compound nouns or collective nouns? Who can tell me? Who can tell me? Hit me up on the chat box. Is it compound noun or is it a collective noun? Very good. I can see some correct answers already. Compound noun or collective nouns? Hit me up, hit me up. Yeah, well done, well done, Hilary Nupur. Hi, very good, Dia, well done. Compound students, well done to all of you. All right, now, okay, hi, Meryl, please log in from your name for those of you who just joined. Very good, well done. So this is a compound now. Remember, two words, Written separately or joined, yes, bus stop. is one place, right? It's not a different thing. It's one noun, it's one word. So this is an example of a compound noun. I'm going to write another example here. No problem, you can log in from a different device, mirror. No worries at all. Okay, yeah, it's good that you understand. Now I'm going to write another sentence here, for example. Mm. Now tell me, compound or, hello, can you hear me? Hi students, can you hear me? Please let me know in the chat. Is it collective? All right, if you can't hear me, please. Okay, very good. So the bus arrived with a team of players. A team of players, is it a compound noun or a collective noun? That's awesome. I think sometimes it's a connection. So it's a collective nouns, right? Now, if I say, yeah, collective nouns. So students, 
Very good. Now let me know. Is there anything that you don't understand and would like to ask me? Was the did you understand the class today? Any questions? No? No? Yes? Then ask me. No? Okay. All right. Wow, that's good to know. 100%. I'm so happy. Like I said, you guys are all so awesome. Really? <laughs> okay. If no questions, then let's have a chat. Would you like? I love you too, Hillary. You're so sweet. Oh, that's so sweet because y'all are perfect. Y'all guys are so perfect. I love you too. Now, please don't go off, okay? Now, thank you. You all are awesome. Now, let's have a chat. Okay, so I'm going to have a chat with you, all right? So what I wanted to tell you again is today's Eid. So again, to all of you who are celebrating, happy Eid. I hope you all are having a wonderful day. And a wonderful uh, time. To those of you who are not celebrating, happy holidays. It's fine. We all celebrate together, okay? Now, to those of you who are not, okay. So, um, I can see. Okay. So, just give me a second and... Okay, I can see 14 of you. Okay, so today... All right. So I would like to let you know something. Do you want to know something? We have something for you all. To those of you who are celebrating Eid, please send in. No, I can't. Okay, I'll speak to you later, okay? Oh, no, please, spider, where? Here. Is this black thing my spider? <laughs> Don't... You guys are so cute. Okay, now. I have something for y'all. So please, to those of you who are celebrating Eid or any of you, please send in your Eid celebration pictures to us, to the My Professor. Okay? Because we have something for you, then you will be given a prize. I'm going to put on the screen the number on where you are going to WhatsApp. Yes, yeah, send in your number, send in your pictures, I'm sorry. Please send in your pictures to this number. I'm going to put up on the screen here. Just hold on, okay? Where is my whiteboard? Okay, so hold on, students. I'm going to put up the number. Please send in if you are... I. Okay, it's fine. Never mind. Now, to those of you who are logging in from another one, like Hillary, you said you're from the US and all. So please, okay? Put this code 44 and to this number, 7307. Okay, 7307, 346725. Please send in your best pictures of celebrations. If you're not celebrating, you can still participate too. Send in your pictures. Yeah, please write it, write it. I'm letting you write it down. And you will be winning prizes from my professor. Please don't log out. We are not done. I'm allowing you some time to log in. Yes. Say it again. Send in your Eid celebration photos to this number that I'm flashing on the screen now. Prize is a surprise from my professor. Yes, yes, yes. We will give you prizes. Don't worry. All right. So you need to put in your best celebration pictures, okay? To so this number. If you are calling for, or sending to the WhatsApp from another country, put in the code, please. Yes. You can see on the chats as well, okay? The chat is being sent to. All right. So to those of you, okay, never mind. If you don't want to participate, it's okay. Relax, okay? And to you, I did told you to log in using your name. You still logged in. On here, on this number's WhatsApp. You send it to the WhatsApp. This is my professor's number. This is my professor's number, okay? All right, student. So enough with that. Now, I would like to thank all of you for participating with this class. Please don't forget what? To register for next week's class, okay? Don't forget to register with next week's class, okay? Students, no games, please. Lujin or whatever, please do not talk about games here. It's a learning platform, okay? Now, students, 
So please don't forget to register for the My Professor uh, Masterclass Live School for next week, okay? Saturday and Sunday as well to see you all. Yeah, next Saturday, maths at 1 p.m., okay? And Sunday at 12 p.m. for English. Saturday, 1 p.m. and 12 p.m. for English maths on Saturday, Sunday on English. Students, I hope you all enjoy the class. Did you all have fun? Some more, any other questions do you want to ask me, students? Please log in to the My Professor and register. Any questions, students? Thank you all to, for joining today. Bye, students. Bye. I love you. Bye, Hillary. Uh, we will get to see each other after the coronavirus, okay? Bye. I love you, too. See you next week. Don't forget Saturday, okay? Yes, you will, okay? Send in your picture. Bye, students. Bye. Bye, everyone. Bye. Have a good day. Enjoy. Bye.